For gas phase spectroscopy, we have a number of cells that we can use. I'm showing two here. This is a standard 10 centimeter cell. It's very simple. I will pop the end off just to show you the, uh, the end window. There is a gasket on that window. So you have the window and a gasket on each side and the end just screws on and that's all there is to it to make the seal. Okay, we're not going to be using that cell. Instead what we've got is a very simple cell in which the windows have been sealed on. They've actually been epoxied on. The overall path length of this cell is well known. And then this cell has been filled at our manufacturing facility with carbon monoxide, which we are going to use as a high resolution uh, sample. These are mounted inside the spectrometer using very simple mounts. It's just a little V-groove, which you will see me using repeatedly over in the lab, where it just sits down in that groove. That'll be held up right in that, in that groove. Um, there are other types of holders. They have long bars sticking out or things like that. There's one in which this sits down into a cradle. So it just depends upon uh, the type of gas cell, but I'm just going to be using the simple little V-groove over at the spectrometer. So that's it for the gas cells. Um, you can get gas cells that are very large, that are like cylindrical pieces of stainless steel, that have 2 meter, 3 meter, 50 meter path lengths, depending upon your application and the sensitivity you need, and with different interior walls, different adapters for different spectrometers. So. Um, it really just depends on what you're going to do, but we're going to be using a very simple one for the, uh, for the next video where we show how to run these at high resolution. So that's it for gas phase.